third episode of the launching of the book Drug Traffickers and Intriguing Ten Tackles of Narco Terrorism by Dr. G. Shri Kumar Menon, IRS retired, PhD narcotics. About the book by Sanjay Sharan. Uh, Namaskar, what is uh, all about book? Can you tell in few lines? You see, narcotics is a serious business affecting the world. And basically, it is grown in golden triangle and golden crescent. And this has the effect of destroying the youth of countries. It is illegally transported to various parts of the world. Mr. Sri Kumar Miran is an expert on narcotics, he is PhD also. And he has been associated with anti-narcotics for a very long time, with the UNODC and with the various other places. So in this book he has brought about the perils of narcoterrorism, narcotics, and suggested also immediate Thanks, thanks. Now with us, Sri N. Bankat Raman, Additional Solicitor General of India. Our relationship with Dr. Shikumar Menon is more than two decades old. Commitment to your cause and his passion on this subject. This is something which he has been working on it for two and a half decades. Easy. It's not something Something he has taught me. Stress. He has always been focusing in this field for many may not know. We all know him as a commissioner, we all know him as a bureaucrat, an officer, and all. His commitment to national causes, a true Indian nationalist is Dr. Shri Martin. I can say that. Filled with innovation, filled with data, filled with uh, the needs and one, how one has to act into the future. So this is the hope we can have even before starting to read this book. So coming to the issue, it's a, it's, it's a dinosaur. You don't know where to touch it. <laughs> and it's definitely not blind men leading the blind because everybody has an angle to it. Now, from the judiciary angle, I just share one case where I think the Supreme Court, say six months back on NDPS. One person, a college student from a poor nation in Africa, comes and settles down in Chennai, becomes a student in a college, along and he brings his mother. And his uncle from that place transports drugs. Herbs, the name of herbs. And he was trying to uh, convince that this is something of great Ayurvedic value and therefore uh, this is permissible. And the case was booked and a 482 quash was filed by him and a lawyer who argued there also argued in the Supreme Court. One full day tried and the FIR should be quashed. Then it came to the Supreme Court. Supreme Court had to spend two and a half hours to listen to that lawyer and, and also us. I argue for the Union of India. And we have to prove the way he changed towards that goal. And uh, Dr. Srikumar Venan has a role to play because he is a true nationalist. He <coughs> deserves his PhD. Thank you so much. Thank you for your words, sir. It really broadened our horizon. Thank you. Last but not the least, we have with us BJP spokesperson Shivanit Goeka, a politician associated with BJP from past 25 years. From boot level worker to at Mumbai to national level politics as national co convener of IT Cell. Currently, he is spokesperson of BJP Delhi and the governing council member for the Center for Railway Information System, Ministry of Railways, Government of India. Sir has authored the very first book on data sovereignty in Indian context. We are eager to hear from you, sir. Welcome to everybody. In fact, I do speak every day in front of TV cameras. But after many years, my legs are shaking right now. Those whom I say pranam and touch their feet, they are sitting in front of me. IPS, IRS. And sir, we have three generations. One who were commissioned when she was born. So we have officers who were born when you were commissioned. I would like to specially mention one name and I am very proud he is in the audience here. Colonel Nair is with us and I would request you all to give him a clap. 
the sovereignty of his uh, altitude of this country and is a current serving officer in his thank you sir. many of them are there and so before we everybody matured each of you have served in some of the other way and faced this particular challenge so i don't want to touch upon those particular parts four points which come to my mind and i'd like to keep it and i'll take a small permission from you to speak in other languages also if you permit me in hindi and i'm not very well versed with sanskrit to please uh, i would like to apologize for any improper pronunciation of the word please understand the meaning of it as my feelings rather than the words while we were writing this book data sovereignty a pursuit of supremacy i had opportunity to work with lieutenant general shekhatkar lieutenant general bhatia lieutenant general khandare and lieutenant general patil and also raw deputy director ranade i was fortunate to get kiran kumar the chairman he wrote to write it in the entire book the first page we wrote one shloka and which makes me to think about that shloka puri here is ashwaneva gajaneva siya neva chaneva ajat putra vidata devo kripa ka and how does it relate to you doctor is this i also saw that uh, serial which is to come in television mahabharata if you remember these two brothers pandava and kaurava and the elder son of kaurava uh, duryodhana i'm sure no parents would keep names as duryodhan or dushashan they would be suryodhan this is intelligent sharp capable young man but what happens is he gets intoxicated by his mama shakuni now this intoxication makes this thoughtful powerful good man into a bad man and then we saw the great war of mahabharata this instruction is verbal is mental or by a substance that is to be put in front of you when a soldier dies and colonel would agree with me from the other side also we respectfully look at him so we have seen boys falling on the other side even from the enemy side we look at them as very responsible because they have fallen for their cause if somebody from the family or known dies because of disease or accident we feel bad but we have seen youths dying because of drugs there is a shame which comes up we don't only lose dignity but also it creates a shame in the society the moral of the society falls and the shloka which i told said ashwaneva gajaneva silver how it was explained to me i will try to explain it may not be proper please forgive me for that general told me nobody sacrifices the horses on the altar of god have you ever seen ashwa been sacrificed or gajaneva gaj Elephants are huge. You come from Kerala, sir. You have seen a lot of them. They cannot be sacrificed. See, you are never chanting. You cannot sacrifice predators like lion and tiger. Ajat putra bali data. The child, the son of goat, is the only uh, element to be sacrificed. Civilizations of Greek on they were disembodied. They were they were sharp people, probably Doctor Menon, better than you, me, and Venkatraman Man sir, who would have replaced us, uh, becoming IRS, IPS, or a politician. But drugs takes them away. So probably it's our duty to not only enforce the law, but also build this character within ourselves. Tell our officers, tell our youth, educate them that this will finish us up. <coughs> Sir, when I was traveling in Lansdown and towards Metro Village, there is an army region, and I heard three words there: Nam, Nishan, and Namak. If the Nam itself goes, probably we will lose everything. If the name goes, the dignity goes. and the amount of drugs which have been pushed from the western border or the northern borders <coughs> or even in the eastern borders probably will destroy our name naam khatam ho jayega